A weasel word is an informal term for words and phrases aimed at creating an impression that a specific and or meaningful statement has been made, when in fact only a vague or ambiguous claim has been communicated, enabling the specific meaning to be denied if the statement is challenged. A more formal term is equivocation. The use of weasel words to avoid making an outright assertion is a synonym to tergiversate. Weasel words can imply meaning far beyond the claim actually being made. Some weasel words may also have the effect of softening the force of a potentially loaded or otherwise controversial statement through some form of understatement, for example using detensifiers such as somewhat, or in most respects. Weasel words can be used in advertising and in political statements, where encouraging the audience to develop a misleading impression of what was said can lead to advantages, at least in the short term. Origin the expression weasel word may derive from the egg-eating habits of weasels. An article published by the Buffalo News attributes the origin of the term to William Shakespeare's plays Henry V and As You Like It, in which the author includes similes of weasels sucking eggs. The article also claims that this is a misnomer, because weasels do not have a mandible suitable for sucking eggs or blood. Arvid's metamorphoses provide an earlier source for the same etymology. Arvid describes how Juno orders the goddess of childbirth, Lucina, to prevent Alcmene from giving birth to Hercules. Alcmene's servant Golanthus, realizing that Lucina is outside the labor room and is preventing the birth by magical means, emerges to announce that the birth has been a success. Lucina, in her amazement, drops the spells of binding and Hercules is born. Golanthus then mocks Lucina, who responds by transforming her into a weasel. Arvid writes, and because her lying mouth helped in childbirth, she, as a weasel gives birth through her mouth. Regardless of whether weasels do in fact suck eggs, a belief that they do implies an eggshell devoid of its contents. Thus, words or claims that turn out to be empty upon analysis are known as weasel words. Alternatively, definitions of the word weasel include, n. A sneaky, untrustworthy, or insincere person v to manipulate shiftily, both of which suggest deception. Finally, the phrase to weasel out, meaning to squeeze one's way out of something, or to evade responsibility. The expression is first known to have appeared in Stuart Chaplin's short story Stained Glass Political Platform, in which they were referred to as words that suck the life out of the words next to them, just as a weasel sucks the egg and leaves the shell. Theodore Roosevelt attributed the term to Dave Swall, claiming that Swall used the term in a private conversation in 1879. Winston Churchill wrote, The reserve of modern assertions is sometimes pushed to extremes, in which the fear of being contradicted leads the writer to strip himself of almost all sense and meaning. In another early usage, Theodore Roosevelt argued that one of our defects as a nation is a tendency to use weasel words. When one weasel word is used, after another there is nothing left. Forms. A 2009 study of Wikipedia found that most weasel words in it could be divided into three categories, numerically vague expressions, use of the passive voice to avoid specifying an authority, adverbs that weaken, other forms of weasel words include, non sequitur statements, use of vague or ambiguous euphemisms, use of grammatical devices such as qualifiers and the subjunctive mood, vague generalizations, generalizing by means of quantifiers, such as many, when quantifiable measures could be provided, obfuscates the point being made, and if done deliberately as an example of weaseling. Non sequiturs, that is illogical or irrelevant statements can be used for example in advertising to make it appear that the statement describes a beneficial feature of a product or service being advertised. Endorsement of products by celebrities, regardless of whether they have any expertise relating to the product, is an example. That is it does not follow that the endorsement provides any guarantee of quality or suitability. Spurious authority, use of the passive voice without specifying an actor or agent, and citation of unidentified authorities, or experts provide further scope for weaseling. It can be used in combination with a reverse approach of discrediting a contrary viewpoint by glossing it as claimed, or alleged. This embraces what is termed a semantic cop-out represented by the term allegedly. This implies an absence of ownership of opinion, which casts a limited doubt on the opinion being articulated. 
the construction mistakes were made enables the speaker to acknowledge error without identifying those responsible. However the passive voice is legitimately used when the identity of the actor or agent is irrelevant. For example, in the sentence 100 votes are required to pass the bill, there is no ambiguity, and in fact the actors cannot practicably be named even if it were useful to do so. The scientific journal article is another example of the legitimate use of the passive voice. For an experimental result to be useful, anyone who runs the experiment should get the same result. That is, the identity of the experimenter should be of low importance. Use of the passive voice focuses attention upon the actions, and not the actor of the article. To achieve conciseness and clarity, however, most scientific journals encourage author, s, to use the active voice where appropriate, identifying themselves as we. The middle voice can be used to create a misleading impression, for example, it stands to reason that most people will be better off after the changes. There are great fears that most people will be worse off after the changes. Experience insists that most people will not be better off after the changes. The first of these also demonstrates spurious authority, in that anyone who disagrees incurs the suspicion of being unreasonable merely by dissenting. Another example from international politics is use of the phrase the international community to imply a spurious unanimity. Euphemism may be used to soften and potentially mislead the audience, for example right-sizing a workforce normally meaning dismissing employees. Other euphemisms commonly used in this area include headcount reduction, and downsizing. Jargon of this kind is used to describe things euphemistically. Restricting information available to the audience is a technique sometimes used in advertisements. For example stating that a product is now 20% cheaper raises the question, cheaper than what? It might be said that 4 out of 5 people prefer something, but this raises the questions of the size and selection of the sample, and the size of the majority. Articles and books, in report on unidentified flying objects, U.S. Air Force Captain Edward J. Rappelt described astronomer Dr. J. Allen Hynek's report on the death of Air Force pilot Thomas Mantle in pursuit of a UFO as a masterpiece in the art of weasel wording. Carl Reiter discussed weasel words in his best-selling book I Can Sell You Anything. Australian author Don Watson devoted two volumes to documenting the increasing use of weasel words in government and corporate language. He maintains a website encouraging people to identify and nominate examples of weasel words. Scott Adams, the creator of the Dilbert comic strip, talks much about weasels in one of his books, named accordingly, Dilbert and the Way of the Weasel. See also References External links Jason, Gary Hedging as a Fallacy of Language, Informal Logic X3, Fall 1988, Weasel Words, Unsuck It.